Hey guys, what's up and welcome back. We're going to be doing uh, Sheet Set Manager Part 2 here. Uh, we already have the Sheet Set uh, Manager set up already. We've done it once. Um, we've already created the title block correctly. We've done that already. So what happens now if we select that next box where it says start with an existing an example sheet set? And that's what we're going to do in this video. So first things first, let's go into Layout Space here. We're going to delete out layer Layout 2 here. Delete out, not rename. And uh, I'll rename layout one here just for the fun of it. And we're gonna call it sheet one. And uh, we erase out this annoying viewport. Let's insert our title block in as if we were starting from scratch. There we go. Perfect. All right, so we have our title block in here. I'm not gonna do any of the page setup manager or any of that stuff, but you really should set this page sheet up to print extents. Um, for my particular title block, I need to select Arc D Expand to get it to fit correctly, but uh, again, your mileage may vary. All right, so let's create a few sheets here. I'm just going to, again, like I did in the last video, I'm just going to create a few more just to kind of drive home the point that it works really easily with multiple sheets. So I'm just going to create two, though. I'm not going to go as extreme as I did in the last one. All right, perfect. So let's do what I tell you to do all the time is you got to make sure you save. All right, so let's save this guy, and we're going to call this test one. Save. <coughs> now I'm going to type in sheet set. Oops. Yeah, sheet set. There we go. Um, and I'm going to close out of Project X. If you haven't watched the Project X video, make sure you're watching that one first. Do not watch this one. All right, so let's go to create a new sheet set. So instead of doing this now, we're going to say example sheet set, and we're going to click next. And uh, if you notice, I'm going to say use another sheet set as an example, and I'm going to browse to Dropbox here, CAD videos, project, sheet set manager, and we're going to take the last one we did, which was project X. So what this is going to do, unlike in the last video where I had to again hand type all this stuff in. I no longer will have to do that because it's going to pull it in from this sheet set. So again, saving me that step. So once you have one done, this is how you save yourself that next step again. So we're going to click next now and you'll notice everything starts to look a bit more familiar. So again, this one was test one and uh, perfect. It's going right where I want it to go right into that project folder where I want it to go. Um, sheet set manager properties if you notice guess what look at it's all filled out already. It's amazing It's all perfect. All right hit okay Now all I have to do is hit next and confirm and I already have this done now So the one thing you notice is it didn't ask us is to import the sheets So we have the sheet set cre created But now we need to import some layouts into this bad boy So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna close out of the drawing in the background here there we go, because you don't even need that open. And I'm going to right click on here, and uh, if you notice, I'm going to, this guy here, and we're going to open up a brand new drawing here. There we go. Got my way. Perfect. There we go. And we're going to go to import layout as sheet. We're going to browse for drawings, and we're going to open up test here. And if you notice, it's going to ask me, do I want to import these layouts? Sure, import checked. There we go. Now, that drawing's not open, so I'm going to double click on it, and sure enough, it opens just fine. And everything's taken from the last one. And from here, I can easily just go into properties now and modify it. So again, I saved myself the hassle of having to type all this stuff in. Obviously, total number of sheets has changed now, so we'll have to up that guy. But again, it's just a really quick way to start from an example sheet set will save you the time and effort of having to type these in. So you only only have to really do that first video once, and then after that, all you have to do is refer back to this video and you'll save yourself all that extra time unless you add something in here. Uh, but again, not the end of the world if you do. And if again, if you ever lose the sheet set deal, which I lose it a lot, um, yeah, all you got to do is type in sheet set. It's the easiest way to get it back. And again, you can modify properties from here. You can edit custom properties and add them later if you need to. Um, but this saves you all that step of having to manually create these again. So again, if you like this video, please make sure to give it a like. Um, also, subscribe if you want to see more videos. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, we'll be going over the multi-line text version of this. 
Um, again, not as useful, but again, some people set up their title blocks differently. So again, please check out that video once it's up here. See you guys later.